Kenia, señor Rigati Gachagua. Demos de una cordial bienvenida. Please be seated. The Vice President of the Republic of Colombia, Your Excellency Francia Elena Marquis Mina, officials of the government of Colombia, Kenya's ambassador to Cuba, members of the Kenyan delegation business membership organizations, captains of industries, distinguished guests, good morning. Our president, His Excellency, Dr. William Ruto, and the people of the Republic of Kenya, said warm greetings to President Gustavo Petro Urego and the people of the Republic of Colombia. This business forum is a follow-up to a similar engagement we had when you, Your Excellency, visited Nairobi in May this year. It is an affirmation of the growing kenya colombia relations underpinned by mutual trade, investment, and exchange of knowledge and skills. We have a huge interest in coffee production and value addition, hot culture, and the use of bamboo as a sustainable housing material, among other areas. They respond to our government's bottom-up economic transformation agenda. Kenya and Colombia are good trade partners, but we want to make this partnership better. In 2021, Kenya exported products worth 2.1 million US dollars to Colombia, including coffee, amounting to 699,000 US dollars. On the other hand, we imported products worth 1.34 million US dollars, including coffee of 94,900 US dollars. We must explore to expand this trade for the, for the benefit of our people for the two countries. That is why this forum this morning is very important. The government of Kenya is aggressively implementing the bottom-up economic transformation agenda by cultivating business-friendly environment under five strategic pillars. One, to transform agro-industrial productivity and food security. Two, universal health coverage, including production of medical commodities and biomedical supplies. Three, digital superhighway and last mile fiber optic infrastructure for the micro, small and medium scale enterprises and five, affordable housing through construction of 250,000 units annually over the next five years. Private partnership is one of the ways we are exploring in implementing our bottom-up economic transformation agenda plan. We are making the necessary legal policy and operational adjustments for a better foreign direct investment experience. By this meeting, we are inviting you, the Colombian investors, to Kenya. And here is why. The World Bank recently ranked Kenya as the third most attractive place to do business in Africa. Our country is not only strategically located, but also the entry into some of the continent's biggest and most lucrative markets. The Economic Community of East Africa, EEC, and the Common Market for Eastern and Southern Africa, COMESA. COMESA is home to over 520, 520 million people, but the East African community is a market of over 283 million people. As a member of the two and other regional economic blocks, Kenya is indeed your entry to Africa. Allow me at this point to invite you to the Africa Industry Week in November 2023 
under the theme Acceleration of African Continental Free Trade Area Implementation. During that time, we'll hold the Kenya Industrialization Conference on November 20 to 22, the year 2023. We hope we also boast of a youthful, well educated, and diversely skilled workforce. Besides an improved road, rail, and air infrastructure, Kenya is an actively growing industrial hub powered up by 92% by green energy, which is highly reliable for business. A center of information, innovation, we are also one of the most robust banking hubs, besides mobile money transfer in Africa. Kenya coffee is ranked world class, but it contributes as low as 0.22% to our GDP. As we spur production through mechanization and other measures, we have an opportunity in moving into value addition and speciality. As a global leader in specialty coffee, we seek to walk and learn with you up to the marketing. And a value addition, we have allocated funds to our developed units, the counties, for construction of aggregation and industrial parks across the country. We are also setting up strategic special economic zones, which among other benefits enable market access of up to 80% for exports and 20% local with no corporate tax for the initial 10 years. Join us together, we grow. As I wind up, Your Excellency, as you have rightly put it, Kenya is a very warm country. We are very welcoming people. We are very hospitable. And we invite Colombian business people to come and invest in Kenya. Again, as you come to invest in Kenya, we have many facilities for tourism. We have rare species of our wildlife, the elephant, the rhino, the buffalo, the tiger. And when I to say the vice president was in Kenya, she had the opportunity to visit Masai Mara largest game reserve, the eighth wonder of the world, and so for herself, what is available in Kenya. Finally, it is good for me to inform the people of Colombia that when your vice president visited Kenya, we looked at her and she looked like the rest of us. We looked at the that her mannerisms were similar to the people of Kenya. And Kenya being the origin of men, our president William Ruto sought to find out her origin. I'm happy to report to you that after extensive research, we have confirmed that your vice president originated from Kenya. <laughs> And not just in Kenya, we have traced her roots in a place called Bell. And our president has given her Kenyan name, Nyawera, which means. So we'll be inviting her to Kenya soon to come and meet her relatives and get to know them much better. I want to thank you for the warm welcome. Thank you.